How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep? Every I'm going to be making some moho style chicken. This is a recipe that I got years ago in a grocery store. I've been looking through some old recipes and seeing if I can find something to make for you guys that I got recipes for years ago. I've got a lot of these little recipe cards. First off, you're going to make the marinade for the chicken. You're going to cut the chicken into little strip sized pieces. You're going to add six cloves of garlic chopped or I'm going to just use what I got, this minced garlic and I'm going to put I'm going to put four heaping teaspoons in there of the minced garlic. And you're going to add half a cup of freshly squeezed orange juice. I've already done that. And a quarter cup of lime juice. And one and a half teaspoons of zested orange peel. I've already zested that. That's just one orange. It was a good size orange. We're going to put in red or green chili peppers. I already had this can so I just want to use that. If you're going to buy a fresh one, it'll be one small one seeded and chopped. I'm going to add a tablespoon of this in there. You want it hotter then add more. The rest of it I'm going to put in a little mason jar and put it in the refrigerator. We're going to add a teaspoon of oregano and a teaspoon of cumin. This thing right here is a baggie holder and let me tell you it is so nice to have to put things in a bag and you don't have to worry about it spilling over. Now you're going to take that off and kind of mix it all up together. Put it back on the baggie holder. I'll put the link to how to get these if you want to buy one. I'm going to add the chicken into here. Wash my hands. Zip this up and shake it all in the chicken. You want to coat the chicken real good and lay it flat like this in the marinade and then you're going to put it in the refrigerator for an hour and we'll come back and start cooking it. Over medium high heat you're going to put a tablespoon of olive oil or any cooking oil. You want a oven safe skillet. If you don't have one then you'll have to transfer this over to a baking dish. Now the chicken you can use thighs or you can use breast or you can use both. On this recipe it's actually for the grill but I don't have a grill and where I live they don't allow people to have grills or grill out on their their patio which is understandable because it's a fire hazard. But if you're going to grill this, it says preheat grill to medium heat and prepare for cooking. Grill chicken pieces covered for 50 to 60 minutes on the grill until it's no longer pink. I'm just going to put it in this cast iron skillet and cook it in the oven. So I have my oven preheating at 350 degrees. So let me pour all of this in there. In the description, I'll write how to put it on the grill if you want to use your grill. I'm just cooking it a little bit on the stove top in the marinade. Cook it for about two minutes. And this is about how big you would want your chicken to be. Now I'm going to turn the burner off and then you're going to cover it. If you have an oven safe cover, then you cover it or you put aluminum foil on it. 
Then you're going to put it in a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes until it's done and no longer pink inside. It's done. I'm going to plate it up for you. Got this juice on top. I made some rice and some broccoli florets with it and a yeast roll. I'm going to try it for you. It seems like it's going to be tender. Mmm. That's really good. I like those flavors. And if you want to put this on the grill as a summertime meal, I will put how to do that on the grill in the description and the recipe how I made it. But this is really good. I like those flavors. If you wanted to put a little salt on the chicken, you can, but it really doesn't need it because those flavors are so good. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, I hope you'll subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Bye.